Hello guys, this is Adam and I hope that you are doing good. Today we will be testing a blender on the M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro versus the 6900 XT on the PC side. And then we will see which is better and which is faster. Couple of things need to keep in mind before we are starting. I am recording the screen right now, as you can see, and then the screen is actually recorded externally, so that would not have any effect on the performance for the MacBook or even the PC as well. When it comes to the specs that we are working with, when it comes to the MacBook Pro, we are working with 64 gigabyte of RAM, eight terabyte SSD NVMe, then 32 core GPU with 10 core uh, CPU. So this is the fully spec'd out MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Mac. And and when it comes to the PC, we have 32 gigabyte of RAM with speed of 3200 uh, megahertz. And then we have the 6900 XT. For the CPU, we have an Intel i7. However, it doesn't matter because we will be testing the GPU only, but it's uh, the Intel i7 7700K. Uh, the VRAM that is allocated to us on the M1 Max is 48 gigabytes, while the VRAM that is allocated uh, to us on the graphic card with the PC 16 gigabyte of RAM. So we will go ahead right now and then render image. So before we render the image, when it comes to the settings, we have metal and then we have the Apple M1 Max GPU selected. I can select them both if you want, but what I have noticed is only when you select the M1 Max, actually the performance is better than doing them both. And I will do them both and you will see famous uh, BMW scene. So here, we go and we will see how long that would take. So the last time that I did it, it took 51 seconds and that was without recording the screen. So in case the screen recording did affect a little bit, we will definitely count that. But in general, it shouldn't take that into account no matter what, because everything is being recorded through the M1 MacBook Air on my left. Awesome. So it is done. And again, it took 51 seconds. So it is the same time as well. What I will do right now, I will go to the settings and then have Apple M1 Max and then the GPU plus the CPU. And then we will do the render. We do have 51 seconds and then we do have cycles on supported um, right there. And then I will go ahead and do the render again. Now it should take a couple more seconds. It should be done in 53 seconds or 54 instead of 51. So it is done and it took 52 seconds instead of 51. And again, that's probably in the margin of error. But usually when you only check the GPU, the performance is better for the GPU. So right now and right here we have 51 seconds with the M1 Max. Let's go ahead and see 6900 XT. With the 6900 XT, we have everything set to cycles and then what cycles we do have supported and then we have GPU and then it took a 20 to 23 seconds in order to render and that is literally half of what it's taking on the M1 MacBook a Pro 16 inch. Keep in mind, machine that we are working with here is a laptop and then the other machine that we are working with over there, it's a PC. So definitely there is a difference, but when it comes to rendering, the PC is faster with rendering that scene. Even though this machine is a laptop and the other machine is a PC, usually what you will be working with, you will be working from home. And honestly, I am disappointed with those results because even when I went to the 6900 XT and then changed the render engine from Cycles to Pro Render, which is uh, basically AMD render engine, I was just trying to put the task manager to the side and it was done by the time I did that. It took only six seconds to render that. Now granted a pro render, I didn't like the quality a lot because the quality compared to what we have here with cycles, the quality here with cycles is much better. But even though if Apple did stick with the GPUs from AMD, then we will be able to use pro render and then using pro render would definitely give us a better performance. My hope for the future would be that we would be able to use external GPUs with the M1 Max because even with 64 gigabyte of RAM and a price that is double the price of the PC that I have built, 
the performance for this machine is not there. Yes, I understand there is a screen involved in all of that because if we want to build, for example, Mac Studio with M1 Max, 10 core CPU, and then 32 core GPU with 64 gigabyte of RAM and one terabyte of SSD storage, which is the specs that I have on my PC right now in terms of storage and that I'm in everything. Granted, on my PC, I have only 32 gigabyte of RAM. I don't have 64, but for the sake of the argument, what we will be getting price wise on the Mac Studio is $2,800 and my PC cost around $2,500 so the PC is still cheaper by around three or four hundred if we go ahead and take the price of the max studio with the student discount we will be looking at two thousand five hundred twenty dollars which is now only twenty dollars difference between this machine and then my pc the pc still have the double performance of the mac now the mac with all the other applications such as video editing programming whatever that might be the mac is amazing but when it comes to 3d modeling and rendering sadly it's not there yet now that doesn't mean i will stop using macs i will always be a mac user and i will always use macs and i will always use their performance and such it granted the viewport and then working with the software was actually a better experience on the mac rather than the pc due to the fact that the vram uh, which is included in the graphic card is only 16 gigabyte while here i have 48 gigabytes to work with but it's still 48 gigabyte for a viewport that is cool but then when it comes to rendering and rendering will be taking a lot of time so hopefully we will be seeing more optimizations and such but that's definitely disappointing in terms of let's say dollar per value or whatever that might be and yes macs are expensive and especially right now with gpu prices are going down and such they are even less of a compelling option but that's only for three d work in 3d modeling when it comes to video editing and everything else they are the king of the hell they are on top i will always uh, keep using the macbook Pro. if there is any questions or concerns leave them in the comments below i will definitely be doing more testing in regard to blender and then other softwares as well such as maya and uh, cinema 4d and that is coming very soon uh, with that being said i wish you a very good night and bye bye